Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Mindy Banks. I'm the Flip Flop Chef, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to make jams and jelly in Pampered Chef's Deluxe Cooking Blender. So I went ahead and made ahead of time some peach jelly, and I'm gonna show you how to make strawberry. Before we get started though, please be sure to leave a comment. Let me know if you're watching live or if you're catching the replay. And if you are not already a member of my recipe group, I would love to see you join me there. I have thousands of recipes, and I also have a giveaway every single Friday. All you have to do is look for the Flip Flop Friday post, leave an answer or a comment um, to the question, um, and that's how you'll be entered to win. Um, so I give away a prize every Friday and you have thousands of recipes available to you. Um, as always, please like and share my videos. I really appreciate when you guys take time to watch. Um, I'm always excited to be with you. So today I'm gonna show you how to make jam and jelly using Pampered Chef's Deluxe Cooking Blender. If you don't have this blender yet, it's a smart blender and it has pre-programmed settings that give you the ability to make just about anything that you would like to make. The pre-programmed settings we have are smoothie, alternative milk, grind, heated wash, jam, sauce, heated puree, and a soup setting. The, um, the sauce and jam settings are patent pending, and so those are something that you're only gonna find with the Pampered Chef's cooking blender. You're also going to get um, a cooking guide that comes along with your blender. It's gonna walk you through how to use all these features to make so many different things, and you can make them with fewer ingredients at home than buying them from the shelf at the store. So let me go ahead and show you how to make this jam and jelly. So I have already made the peach. I'm gonna take our blender container right off of the blender. I'll take the lid off, and I've got a pound of strawberries, and I've already removed the stems and cut them in half. I'm gonna pour them into the deluxe cooking blender here, and then we're gonna add two and a half tablespoons of pectin. So I like to buy this in the jar. I get this at Target. A lot of times I just buy it online um, and have it shipped to my house. You can also get it in the store. So let's see, one tablespoon, two tablespoons, and then we're gonna add a half of a tablespoon. Okay, so two and a half tablespoons, and this is the exact same recipe that I used when I made the peach uh, jelly. Now our cooking guide has a list of jellies that you can make. So we have blueberry, raspberry, strawberry, low sugar strawberry, Concord grape jelly, orange marmalade, and applesauce. So I use the strawberry setting to make the peach jelly that you guys see right here. So the exact same thing that I'm doing um, for the strawberry. So um, the only thing we're gonna start with is the strawberries and the pectin. So I'm gonna go ahead and put our lid back on our blender. And then I'm gonna put this into our blender base. I'm kind of backwards here, there we go. So put that in the blender base and then I'm gonna turn this to the jam setting. Okay, and then you press start and let's see what happens here. All right, so when it stops blending, it's actually cooking. So if you've ever made jelly on the stove top, then you know you have to cook the berries and stir. So when it blends, it's stirring. So when it's not blending, it's cooking. So I'm gonna pause this just so that you don't continue to hear the, the noise of the blender. But it goes through this song and dance for about 30 minutes or so. Um, you're gonna cook the berries and it stirs in the pectin, keeps everything moving so that nothing is gonna get burned. So it's hands off. You put the ingredients in, you can walk away, you can answer emails, you can take care of your kids, you can relax, whatever it is that you wanna do. But I love that our blender has hands off options. When this finishes the first stage of the cooking cycle, it's gonna beep and it's gonna display the word add right here on the display. When it tells you to add, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna add in three cups of sugar. And so I have that already measured out here. I'm just gonna take the lid off, make sure it's not um, going, take the lid off. We do have a safety feature that it actually won't blend with the lid off. It will blend if you leave this piece off, so make sure you're always aware that, that it's on or off of, um, depending on what you're cooking. Add the three cups of sugar, press the wheel to start, and it will continue to heat and blend. So heating and stirring until it's completely done. When the cycle is complete, you're gonna get about five cups of jelly, check this out. So this is peach jelly, I made this just a little bit earlier today. Um, we had some peaches that were um, really needed to be eaten or frozen, and so I thought, well, what the heck, I'll just make some peach jelly. And so um, I did a pound of peaches with the pectin, just like I have in this blender right now. And then when it prompted me to add, I added three cups of sugar, 
let it finish its cycle, and I transferred it to one of our leak-proof containers just so that it can cool off. Once it's cool, I will put the lid on it and I'll put it in the refrigerator. I make strawberry jelly on a regular basis. And so um, this is something that I do all the time. Um, we don't buy jelly from the store anymore because it's just so easy to make it ourselves. And I love the deluxe cooking blender for this purpose. So I hope you guys are inspired to make your own homemade jammer jelly. This makes great gifts. So teacher gifts, um, birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, whatever you wanna give them, um, this is a great one. If you're going to um, share it, you wanna make sure that they know to keep it in the refrigerator or the freezer. If you know how to pressure can um, foods, then you can certainly do that and it would be safe um, on the shelf. So only if you know how to do that. So if you guys have any questions about how to make jam or jelly, just let me know. I'll start this blender again and let this jelly finish up. Y'all have a great day.